what we're doing is we're, uh, as we, we showed in the walkthrough, we're going to be doing two different sets of tuning for all the weapons that are featured inside of Battlefield Portal. Uh, one set of tuning is going to be very competitive with the 2042 weapons so that for players or builders who want to create uh, you know, a matchup with maybe some of the legacy content against 2042 content, that it will be fairly competitive. You know, it's hard to say it's going to be exact because again, the future weapons have so many attachments and stuff like that. Um, but builders can also choose to use historical tuning, in which case what we're trying to do is replicate the way the weapons felt uh, in, in those classic experiences like 1942 and Bad Company 2. Um, are they going to use the exact same data? No. I mean, we're, we have a, you know, in, in 1942's case, it's a completely different game engine. So what we have to do is try to replicate it based on how it felt, um, which we've got a, an excellent team of specialists that are working on that as we speak. If I understand the question correctly, like, can you, can you attach a community to a server um, what you can do is you could basically create uh, an experience, you can deploy that experience, and then you can set it to private where it can be password protected. And then you can share that password with, you know, a select community if you want to only have certain people have access to that experience. That's absolutely uh, the way you can do it. Okay, that's a great question. So um, when we when we launch, the servers uh, that people are going to deploy are going to be free for everyone. So regardless if you want to say it's just you know me against a whole bunch of AI, or if you want to run a 128 player server, um, it's absolutely free. Everybody can run one server at a time, basically. So okay. it means you can't run a whole bunch of servers simultaneously. You can run one server, and uh, that server is going to persist. So as long as there's even one player playing on that server, it will continue to run. When that last player leaves, then uh, the server will spin down. And then, you know, uh, you know, as the uh, host, you can choose to rerun that server the next time you log into the game uh, and deploy it again. Okay, so kind of like uh, Battlefield 5, cool. It's exactly um, like Battlefield 5, correct. And then, um, you know, we also understand that there are some who uh, are are really big fans of the server rental program. That is something we've been actively talking about, but uh, there's no, no commitment to something like that at this time. We do understand that it is important to some of our community members. And so we're actively uh, taking a look at it. So what we're gonna have at launch is we're gonna have the ability to either do two teams or you could do free for all, which is you could say is 100 teams, 128 teams, or like zero teams, but you can't go in and say it's going to be like a three team game or something like that. Um, that's not going to be available at launch. However, um, again, it, this is the beginning of the journey for us. So if that's something that the community uh, feels very passionate about, uh, we encourage them to give us that feedback so that we can kind of take a look at, at it. Yeah, so, you know, again, that's the thing where once we launch the game, we're going to learn a lot. We're going to learn a lot about the game based on, you know, the feedback from the community, but also getting a chance to play what the community is building. The other thing to remember is that we've got these seasonal um, battle pass that's going to be launched, you know, with 2042. And so all of the content that is dropped in each season is also going to be made available inside of the builder. So there's going to be a constant flow of new toys, let's call them, uh, that, that players are going to get to build with. Yeah, so, so there's no plan to have a, any kind of ranked or eSport mode at launch. Uh, this is something that obviously uh, we want to hear more about from the community. Uh, if Again, this, I'm, I'm using this phrase a lot, but if that's something that's important to the community, we'd like to hear about it. Uh, and, you know, we'll kind of see what happens after that. So what you can do is once you've created your experience, you've, you've created your you know, logic script, uh, you can then use that, you deploy your server. Now there's nothing preventing you from you know, playing the experience and having you know, the, the web builder up and you can make modifications based on what you're seeing, but those modifications won't be real time. You will have to save it, quit out of the game and then redeploy it in order to test the changes. And I imagine that's gonna be a fairly, um, 
it's going to occur quite frequently, especially as builders are trying to kind of test their work. You know, obviously that we probably want to encourage them to use AI to help them get a feel for it, to make sure the logic they've created is right and things of that nature.